Hi, I'm Jessica, an engineer at Liquid Instruments, and today I'll show you how to encode and decode arbitrary waveforms using the Moku Arbitrary Waveform Generator, a waveform generator, the Time and Frequency Analyzer, and the oscilloscope, all on one Moku Pro, which is a reconfigurable FPGA-based device containing a full suite of test and measurement equipment. You may have heard of the time and frequency analyzer referred to as a universal counter, an event counter, a time interval analyzer, and more, but it accomplishes a similar function, detecting events and analyzing intervals between them with very high precision, making this a great versatile choice for a wide range of experiments. Some instruments, like the Moku time and frequency analyzer, have additional features to expand functionality, such as outputting a voltage proportional to a measured interval or count. For this example, we're going to use the AWG to encode a signal and then decode it using the time and frequency analyzer by converting measured time intervals into a scaled voltage output. This will allow us to recover our original modulating signal and view it on the oscilloscope. This could be adapted for applications such as servo control, pulse position demodulation, and more. Our multi-instrument mode configuration will include the AWG to provide our encoded signal, which is the modulation input for the waveform generator. The time and frequency analyzer will serve to decode and recover our arbitrary waveform and to output the final signal. Finally, the oscilloscope will allow us to view the signal and verify our results. All four instruments are contained in a single Moku Pro device. First, let's generate our arbitrary waveform. We'll start with a simple CW sine wave at 5 kHz with an amplitude of 2 volts peak to peak. In the waveform generator, I'll generate a pulse width modulated signal. Let's use channel A to do this. Choose a pulse waveform at 10 MHz with a pulse width of 20 nanoseconds and add PWM modulation. Our modulation input will come from input A. The modulation depth will be 10 nanoseconds per volt. The time and frequency analyzer is where we'll set up our PWM decoder and voltage output. The first step is to configure our event detectors. For our first event, let's set event A to trigger on the rising edge of input 1 at 0 millivolts on channel 1. For our second event, let's set event B to also trigger on 0 millivolts on channel 1, but this time on the falling edge of the signal. We can leave this in continuous acquisition mode, or you can choose to use a gated or windowed acquisition. Now, let's set up our interval analyzer. For this application, we'll measure from event A to event B for just the duration of our pulse. To view the time intervals, we can verify our signal with the current interval measurement, maximum, minimum, mean, and total count. Let's check our statistics and see what they tell us about the input waveform. Here, we see that the minimum is 10 nanoseconds, consistent with our pulse duration, 20 nanoseconds, minus our modulation depth, 10 nanoseconds. Our maximum interval is 30 nanoseconds, which is our pulse duration plus our modulation depth. On the histogram, we can view our interval distribution to observe these same results, with our interval lengths plotted into bins in real time. We can export the live statistics and histograms for further analysis. Alternatively, we can log the raw high-resolution timestamps losslessly to a file. Now, let's output a voltage proportional to our intervals. On the Output tab of our Time and Frequency Analyzer, let's add a scaling factor of 1 megavolt per second and turn the output on. We can verify our output with the oscilloscope, connected in multi-instrument mode. Double-click to auto-scale the oscilloscope view and scroll to adjust. Zooming in, we can see what the servo motor would receive, a micro-stepped signal leading to smoother transitions and less vibrations in our setup, created with one device in minutes. Alternatively, you could recover different arbitrary waveforms, even custom-generated ones. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to configure a PWM decoder and time-to-voltage converter. The Moku Time and Frequency Analyzer is available on all Moku devices. Visit liquidinstruments.com to learn more or request a demo. See you next time.